How do you go from being a good developer to being an amazing developer? Well, by building lots of projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how Chris, one of our most active members on the platform, completed over 365 coding challenges. And not only that, but he went an extra mile on all of these challenges. Well, I should say extra 10,000 miles. And this is what made him stand out from the crowd. So let's look at some of these projects. Here we have Chris's profile page on iCodeThis. And as you can see only from the stats, this is just amazing. He has 369 completed challenges, 192 days of streak, meaning that he's been completing at least one challenge per day for the last 192 days. And for the record, we launched streaks after he started his actual streak. So I think in reality, he has like over 200 days of coding every single day. And of course, all of these challenges, because he was going an extra mile on all of them, got him over 2,600 likes. And of course, he has a bunch of badges. We offer these badges for completed challenges, for streaks, for likes, and all the fun stuff. So let's look over some of the projects he's built. So you can see what I mean by going the extra mile. By the way, if you're looking to become a better developer, I highly recommend you at least give this a try. Whenever you're building something, try to go the extra mile. Try to add an extra functionality. Animate the project a bit. Or do something that will be considered extra. So if we're going to scroll here, as you can see, hundreds and hundreds of projects. I think Chris is the reason why we have to add paginations to the profile page because he has so many completed projects. I selected a couple we can study to see what he did. So let's see, the first one, it's a navigation. Now look at that. So we can check out how the design should have looked. As you can see here, it's a navigation. And whenever you're pressing one of the nav items here, you get this panel. But this is it. This is what is the design we provided. And as with all the challenges, we kind of advise you to go the extra mile. And this is how Chris went the extra mile. Whenever you were changing the nav items, you are getting these very, very nice animations. This is another one. Look at that. Not only that he made the slider work, 90% of people don't make the slider, but he also had this very nice transition of the text here. I'm guessing this works also. And look at that. When you hover here, this div goes up there which is pretty cool. Next up, we have a workout tracker. This is the design we provide, right? And let's see what Chris did. So whenever you click on one of these items, <laughs> look at that, you get more information about your workout, where you ran, what was the date, the distance, also the very fancy animations is just next level. The next one, Chris did a very fancy music player. This was the design provided, and this is what he did. And of course, this is all functional. I can't play the song more because, well, you know, YouTube stuff. But yeah, this is just next level. All these buttons are working, which is pretty, pretty impressive, I would say. Also, the slider the timer here, look at that, even this, so that's going an extra 10,000 miles. Now this project is very interesting. Why? Because look at that, when it's loading, it has a very nice animation of the airplane flying in. And not only that, but it's also responsive and in a very interesting way. So when you go on mobile, the ticket turns in a vertical layout. How cool is that? Just imagine the work needed to do something like this. Probably a couple minutes, right? Very good, Chris. Very, very, very good. For the onboarding app, this was the layout provided. So of course, you were getting three screens and we hinted that you kind of have to unite them, right? And let's see, did Chris do that? <laughs> Not only it has animations, but look at how cool of the animations. Very, very, very nice. This is just top level. I mean, isn't it amazing? I am the only one who's amazed by this. Look at the sun. The sun is also like rising and stuff, you know? 
crazy how many details in a simple project. See what I mean that even in a simple project, you can go far, you can animate stuff and practice a lot of things which will help you become more confident in your developer skill. Of course, we have a calendar, but not any calendar. He made it fully functional. You can delete an event. You can add an event recording YouTube video. This is amazing. And of course, it will remember what you did, right? Look at that. It's still there. Amazing. Just amazing. And now we're getting to one of the best projects he built. This is what we provided. A very nice design for a timeline. I actually have this on my website. And look at what he turned it into. He made this to be his journey on iCodes up to, well, look at this. <laughs> I didn't even know, but he is updating the project even now. So that's amazing. And you can read more about his features. And of course it has dark theme because why not? And music. Wow. And it works. It's just Chris. I don't know. I have no words for what you're doing here. Just amazing. So basically he started his unofficial streak on 18th June. And of course, when we provided a layout for a timer like this, he made it functional, right? Because why not? You do that. You want to become a good developer. You do that. And it's reset. Let me put seconds. And of course it's animated. Okay. Also has sounds effects. Wow. That's yeah. I mean, and of course we have a stopwatch because we had three panels. So he built all the three of them. And of course there is an alarm. I don't want to set it up, but as you can see, it's amazing. And for the last piece of the puzzle, we even have a celebration project for completing 365 challenges on iCloud this. And we even have confetti because confetti is cool. So the challenge was movie ticket, which looked like this. So the idea was that you could select some chairs for the movie you want to go and it should show the total depending on how many chairs you select. So of course he did that, right? Because we're talking about Chris, but not only that. If we click watch, look what's happening. The entire layout is switching and we get the grade of all 365 challenges that he built. And you can click on them and you get the link to the challenge and the image in a nice model. This is just amazing, right? Crazy. So yeah, this is Chris. This is what I would call an amazing developer because he went an extra mile on the coding challenges. Every day for the last 200 plus days, he built at least a project. And when I say at least, there were some days when he built like seven projects. So yeah, I'm not saying that you have to build a project for the next 200 days to be an amazing developer, although that will help. What I'm saying is that you should try to go an extra mile whenever you're building something. And most importantly, you should build projects in order to learn how to code better. If you don't have any ideas of what projects to build, that's why we built iCode this. You get a free coding challenge every day. You can join our platform and build projects and improve your coding skill. There's also a community if you get stuck will help you to move forward. But of course, you can use any resources you want. The most important thing is to practice. So I wish you all the best in your coding journey. And if you liked Chris's work, give a thumbs up in the comment section or a clap for Chris. He really deserves it. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.